Yeah, so we were just trying to come out here and win the game. Uh, we really didn't talk about the streak or whatever. It was something where we lost to him last time, and we were just trying to pound back. When you and Kirk are both going, like, it makes you guys a tougher team to handle, isn't it? You're shooting that ball. Um, for sure, we just hand the shots that we normally take. Um, they were just falling this game. We take the shots, but um, tonight they were just falling a little bit more than another day. Um, I guess so. I was knocking down shots. I really didn't have to penetrate like that. Just trying to get guys open and really push the ball up the court and put pressure on them. Derek, once you started hitting the first couple of threes, you just determined to keep shooting them as long as you had an opening? Um, usually when we get a lead, we go up 10 or 15 points. We kind of let teams come back. But um, the shots that they were giving me, um, they was going under screens. I don't know why they was doing that. Um, I was just sitting behind them and, and shooting them. What was, was the difference tonight good. from last night to why, why you played tonight, not last night? Were you just physically that much better tonight? I'm just being smart um, about the situation. Now, this is my first time ever having a hamstring or having a hamstring um, injury. And, um, I know how it was going to go if I was to play last night. Uh, I don't think I was going to be able to play tonight. So uh, really thinking about the whole situation and knowing that uh, we had a chance to play them tonight, I just gave it a chance for today. How does it feel now? How's it feel now? It feels good. It feels the same way. A little tight, but I'm fine. It's not stopping me. Dee, were you surprised that you back? Yeah, um, yeah, a little surprised, but... I'm, I wanted them in it, just giving me my rhythm, being out there with Kurt, just playing um, basketball, and uh, I think we moved the ball well this game. Derek, was there any extra incentive against them tonight? Because they said some things after the last game. I won't get into that, man. Um, for us, we know that um, when we play them, it's going to be a tough game, and we just take it that way. Uh, Every night, we know that we play them. They're going to be the ones talking. And we can't really feed into that. We got to play the way that we know we know how to play. And that's hard. And that's together. Derek, why do you think the offense did so well tonight against the best defensive team in the league? We were just knocking down shots, man. Um, all the other games that we played in, um, our shots wasn't falling. Like I said, the only thing that changed tonight is we saw some go in. And I think that's all we needed. Energy was so high there, beginning of the drills, staying which is probably three times you've been able to do this pause. Oh, yeah, for sure. The energy was high. Um, we had a day off, I mean, not a day off, but we came here focused and had a great shoot around. And like I said, last game um, that we played them, last time we played them, it was kind of a tough game um, because we wanted to win that game and they really jumped on us. So um, we really wanted to come out and play aggressive. Did you come out looking for the three or did you just switch it? That's you got? something they was giving me, man. Um, right now, I don't know why people are going on the screens, but um, I'm happy that they're doing it. I hope they continue to do it. Tough question here. What were you listening to before the game? Um, before the game, I'm a big shot. Any particular song? Um, nothing stopping. Is the United Center becoming a place where you guys are killing strikes so as like yeah. the United the Pacers? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. We just get a good vibe here. I think the crowd um, gives us energy. They know basketball well, and they just want to see us go out there and play hard. And um, we're, we're just used to the court, our, our nucleus on our team. Uh, we've been playing together for a long time, and even when we do get dist um, distracted, we always find our way back on um, the right right path to try to win the game, especially here. Did you notice any difference in how, how the defenders were playing you after you started making long range shots? Um, double teaming. Um, Early in the game, they were trying to go under, just shooting the ball. They were giving me shots. I got to take them shots. Um, I saw some go in, so I kept shooting. Did they start playing you tighter later in the game? Not really. Um, I don't think later in the game they had new people come in, substitutions, and they were kind of losing me some later in the game, too. Um, I just didn't want to take the shots at that time. Did it help at all for a game to be an observer, sit back and watch, and you know see, see how the team was playing without you? Of course, you're talking about the um, last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just seeing how we jumped on them pretty good, too. And I, I hope that we continue to do that. I think we're moving the ball well. I, like I said, the only thing that's changed, I, I see, is that our shots are falling. Um, in preseason, um, shots weren't falling like that, but we still had good ball movement, execution towards the end, I mean, during the game. 
And um, in the beginning of the season, how it started, shots weren't falling, so it's going to make our offense a little bit stagnant, and guys are going to put a little bit on the, um, more on themselves to go out there and try to change the game and then mess up our offense. But when shots are falling, it changes um, total, 